Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Saturday Morning Storytime. I'm so thankful you're with me this morning. I'm thankful for all kinds of things, and you know, that's what God wants us to be. He wants us to be thankful for the things we have and the people we know and all the things we enjoy and to say thank you. You guys know how to say thank you, don't you? There's a special verse in the Bible that says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever, which means His love lasts forever and ever. That is so awesome. Well, you know, I want to tell you a few of the things that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for cheese balls. Do you like cheese balls for a snack? I do. And I'm thankful for ice cream, because it's really tasty. And I'm thankful for Karen. And I'm thankful for Rich. Isn't that great? She's thankful for me, and I'm thankful for her, and all kinds of other things. You know what? I have a really special book to read to you this morning that's called Thankful. Because we want to be thankful for all the special things that God does for us. It says... The waitress is thankful for comfortable shoes. Waitresses are on their feet the whole time they're working, so I'm sure they do like to have comfortable shoes. And then it says the local reporter for interesting news. Oh no, the waitress tripped over the cat and spilled the food all over the reporter, and he's still thankful. That's pretty cool. The gardener, it says, is thankful for every green sprout. Oh, look at She's got such a good garden going on there. It looks like there's lettuce and beans and onions, all kinds of good things growing in her garden. Well, even the gardener's thankful. <gasps> look at it says, the fireman is thankful for putting the fire out. <gasps> He's spraying her with the hose. Do you guys ever do that? Does anybody spray you with the hose? We used to do that. It's so much fun. If it's warm outside. <gasps> the poet is thankful for words that rhyme all the time. <gasps> That's funny. Those words rhyme, don't they? Rhyme and time. Can you guys make up words that rhyme? Let's see who else is thankful. There was a fireman and a poet and a gardener. I wonder who else. Oh, this is great. You guys won't believe this. It says the children are thankful for morning story time. I hope you guys are thankful that we have story time. And maybe while you're watching, you're sitting on your couch with your mom or dad. That's pretty cool. They're thankful for story time. The artist is thankful. Look at he's painting a picture with lots of paints. For color and light. He painted a picture of the ballerina girl. That's pretty cool. Wow, let's see. The clown for her costume. Do you see a clown anywhere? Silky and bright. Well, there's a lamp and a table and the cat is back. Oh, there's the clown right there. She even has a balloon. And you know how much I like balloons. Balloons are great. The doctor is thankful when patients get well. Oh, she's pretending to be a doctor and checking out her brother's tummy. And there's the kitty cat sleeping on the bed. Our kitty cats sleep a lot. They really do. The traveler is thankful for a cozy hotel. That doesn't look like a hotel I've ever stayed in. You know what? That's not a hotel. That's a teepee tent. That's really cool. They must have that out in their backyard. And they can spend the night out there. Well, oh, the dancer is thankful. She loves the beat that stirs her feet. Or, nope, stirs her heart and her feet because she's dancing. Do you guys like to dance to pretty music? Well, let's see. 
It stirs her heart and her hips and feet. And her brother's playing the drum, and they've got all their stuffed animals lined up there watching. That's pretty cool. My girls like to dance. The chef is thankful for plates licked clean. Daddy must have cooked dinner. And the kids must really like it because they've got big smiles on their plate on their faces and they've got their plates. It looks like they want more. What's your favorite thing to eat? Remember, I like cheese balls and ice cream. Do you have a favorite thing to eat? Is it hot dogs or macaroni and cheese? Or maybe it's pizza. A lot of people like pizza. <gasps> Maybe it's bananas. Do you like bananas? Well, let's see. The tailor is thankful for her sewing machine. That's the mommy, and it looks like she's making costumes for the kids. A tailor is somebody who sews clothes. Well, the queen is thankful. Oh, look at, she's got a crown on, and she's sitting in the chair like it's a throne. Well, what do you think the queen is thankful for? Hmm, what she got in the cup. Do you know? The queen is thankful for afternoon tea. They're having a tea party. Those are really fun too. I like tea. Well, the beekeeper. Did you know beekeepers were thankful? A beekeeper is somebody who takes care of bees so they make honey. Do you like honey? It's really sweet, but it's really sticky too. It says the beekeeper is thankful for honeybees. The mayor is thankful for every vote. They've got a sign that says, vote for me, no bedtimes. I don't think that's a promise they'll be able to keep. The sailor is thankful for a sturdy boat. Look at that. They're at a pond, and he's got a boat, and there's a duck. Let's see what... There's another duck and another duck, and there's a man over here feeding the pigeons. That'd be really fun to have a boat in a pond that had ducks. Do you know what? I bet there's probably turtles in that pond, too. I like turtles. The bird is thankful. There's a birdie. It says the bir bird is thankful to list a new... Or the birder is thankful to list a new bird. They're bird watching. That was a confusing words to read. The birdier is thankful for a, list, a new bird to list. They're seeing a bird they've never seen before. And there's little baby birds up there in the nest. Have you ever seen baby birds in a nest? It's really fun, and they make lots of noise. <gasps> well, I know this guy, and I know he's thankful. It says, the pastor is thankful for God's loving word. And look it, he hardly has any hair, just like me. He's thankful, and oh, isn't that sweet? They're bringing him flowers. He must be extra thankful for those. And there's his church. And there's a little birdie, that birdie that was up in the tree a minute ago. I'm glad that he's thankful because I'm thankful for church too and for God's word. The crafter is thankful for glitter and glue. Do you guys like to make crafts? I do. But glitter can be really messy sometimes and get all over the place. But it sure is pretty and sparkly. And me, it says, I'm ever so thankful. What do you think he's thankful for? I wonder for you. The little brother is thankful for his sister. We should always be thankful for our brothers and sisters. Wasn't that a great book about being thankful? I sure think so. You know what? 
I'm so thankful about so many of the things that God's given me that I like to share those things. Do you like to share things? I like to share what I know about Jesus and tell other people about Jesus and God and the Bible so they can get to know him. I also like to share other things that I have with people. Like if I have extra snacks, I like to share those with people so everybody can enjoy them and have yummy, yummy things in their tummy. It's super nice to share. I'm so thankful when I have a chance to share. Because sharing is how kindness grows. This is a super fun book because it's got all those kids on it all the way around. And there's special pop-up things in here too. Well, let's see. It says, one day the playground was very busy. Christopher saw the new boy Nate sitting by himself. Guess he wasn't ma hasn't made any friends yet, thought Christopher. Just then he got an idea. Hi, said Christopher. He walked over to Nate. I've got some cookies I want I want to share. Thanks, said Nate instantly, and his frown turned upside down before long. The two boys were talking and laughing, and sharing had turned Nate's day around. Christopher felt really good. You see, he looks sad, and there's Christopher with a cookie, and look what's going to happen. <gasps> He shared the cookies and now he's smiling and happy. Isn't that a neat book? It shows you when he was sad and then when he was a friend and shared his cookies and now he's smiling. Well, looky, when Nate got home, he took out his new set of crayons and started to draw. Look at he's got all kinds of pictures and he's got a puppy and a kitty and a book bag. Well, it says, I like your picture, said his sister Jennifer. Can I draw too? Jennifer always wanted to do what Nate was doing. And some days it might bother him, but not today. He had plenty of crayons, and she had none. It says, sure, said Nate. He gave her some paper and held out. Look at, he gave her paper, and he held out some crayons purple and orange and blue and green. Sharing comes in many colors. Want red or yellow, he asked her. Jennifer took a red and yellow crayon and she felt very happy. Look at what do you think's going to happen when I turn this flap? <gasps> she's so happy because she's got a red and yellow crayon to draw with. That is so nice for Nate to share. Christopher shared cookies with Nate. Now Nate's sharing with his sister, Jennifer. I wonder who's going to share next. Do you think Jennifer will share? Well, Jennifer really loved going to the swing. She could stay on it for hours. But the next morning, while she was gliding back and forth, she saw her neighbor, Amy, sitting on a bench, watching her. She has nothing to do, thought Jennifer. Would you like to take turns, Jennifer asked. Yes, said Amy, jumping to her feet. So Amy used the swing first, then Jennifer did. Sharing helped them both feel good. What do you think's going to happen? <gasps> Look it! First it's Jennifer, then it's Amy. That's really cool that they shared the swing. Can you guys think of anything you could share? Can you share your toys with a brother or a sister? That's really nice. Or a friend? Well, it says, look at they're out by the lake now. The next day, Amy was digging in the sand with a shovel. There she is. And she's got some other kids around her. I wonder if Amy will share now. Did you guys notice that when somebody shared with them, then they learned to share with somebody else? She had a second shovel and a pail beside her. Just then, two boys, well, there they are walked up and she said, I'm building a castle. The boys watched her dig. Want to help, they asked. I can get some water, said one boy. Well, I can help you build the tower, said another boy. His name was Simon. So Amy shared her pail and shovel and all three of them built the biggest castle ever. Sharing castle building made it even more fun. Well, I don't see any castle, do you? But here's another flap. What should we do? Should we flip it up? 
Or should we just leave it down so we can see the buckets in the sand? I think we should flick it, flip it up. You ready? One, two, three. Look at how happy everybody is. And there's an amazing sand castle. Look at how tall it is. And it even has seashells and starfish in it. I bet they're really good friends now that they're all sharing. Well, Simon, one of the boys, it says, was having a great time playing soccer with his sister, Vicky. After a while, though, they got thirsty. Do you guys, when you play a lot, do you get thirsty and need a drink of water or juice or something? I'm going to get a drink, Vicky said. Me too, said Simon. And they headed into the refrigerator. Well, here they are at the fridge. I wonder who's going to share. I want the orange one, Vicky said, and grabbed the can. I do too, said Simon. Uh-oh, they both want the same one. I wonder what's going to happen. <gasps> Instead of fighting, Simon did something different. Let's split it, he said, taking down two glasses. Okay, said Vicky. Sharing had stopped an argument before it began, and both Simon and Vicky were glad. Ooh, they look angry, don't they? Like they're going to get in an argument over it? Well, there's another flap. I bet we're going to see them sharing. What do you think? Look at, there they are. They shared the orange drink, and they each have a glass full. That's so nice, because now they're not thirsty anymore. And they both got the kind that they like the best. Well, they're going to ballet class now. Do you guys go to dance class or learn how to dance? Well, let's see. Ballet class was over and everyone was going home. But one little girl, Carlita, was sitting on a bench with her head in her hands crying. That's really sad. Look at, she's over here. She's so sad, she's crying. Carlita had made a mistake in class, and she felt awful. You know, sometimes when we make a mistake in front of other people, we feel really sad inside because we feel embarrassed or maybe even scared that somebody's going to tease us or be mean to us because we made the mistake. I hope they're not going to be mean to her. Because you know what? Everybody makes mistakes, and that's okay. And we just need to figure out how to do it better the next time. Well, let's see what happens. Vicky walked over and sat down next to her. Vicky wished she had a cookie or a toy or something to give Carlita to make her feel better. I have nothing to share, she said to herself. Then she thought for a minute and reached over and gave Carlita a hug. That's really nice. After that, the two girls started chatting away. Sharing had shown Carlita that Vicky cared. So she felt much better. Vicky saw that what a hug can do, and it made her happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Look it. She's really sad. And then Vicky did what? She hugged her. There she is, and now they're both smiley and happy. This is such a fun book with all these flippy things that show us a totally different picture. This one's amazing. Remember all those kids on the front of the book? They're all in the next page. And I think they've been sharing. Are you ready to see something really cool? It's not just a flippy back and forth. It's a pop-up. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is the best book ever. All the kids are standing up in a big circle holding hands. It says, yes, sometimes all it takes to make a friend or put a smile on someone's face is a little sharing. Sharing gives us a feeling that feeling grows as it passed along. Sharing links us together. Christopher shared with Nate, Nate with Jennifer, Amy with Simon, Simon with Vicky, Vicky with Carlita, and me with you. I've shared some books with you this morning. Each time we share with each other, we fill the world with kindness. Who can you share with today? Look at all those fun kids that shared with each other. That's so neat, the way they pop up out of that book. Have you guys ever seen a book like that? That's so cool. I'm super thankful. 
thankful that I could share these books with you today. And I hope you share this week and that you're really thankful for all the things that God does for you and your mom and dad do for you and your friends. And I hope you share with all of them, whether you have cheese balls to share or something else just to make them smile. Remember, you don't always have to give someone something to share with them. You can share with a hug or just by saying nice things or all kinds of ways. But the best thing to do that we can do is once we know Jesus is to share Jesus and to tell other people about him. Because that's super most special of all to share him. I'm thankful I got to share with you guys this morning. You know what? We're going to pray. Are you ready? Get your wiggly fingers out and get them all tangled together. Close your eyes and let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for another wonderful story time. Thank you that we get to share with people all kinds of things. And especially we get to share stories about you and stories about being thankful and showing love and sharing kindness and getting to know new friends. Dear Jesus, help us to be super thankful this week and to say thank you to everyone and especially say thank you to you for all the wonderful things we have and all the wonderful things you do. And help us to share with everybody so we can make new friends and that we can share with our old friends and with our brothers and sisters or whoever we might be around. It's so fun to share and it makes everybody feel so good. Dear God, thank you for sharing your son Jesus with us in such a special way. Help us all to have a great week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you guys said amen. Hey, you know what? Tomorrow is church day. And I hope you'll watch church because there's going to be somebody really special. You remember my friend Ryan? You do? We read a couple books about Ryan and his monkey named Rufus. Well, Rufus came to visit me. And you know what? Ryan's coming to church tomorrow. So you'll have to watch church because I think he's going to do something special. I think he's going to do the announcements. You guys will have to tune in and watch because it'll be super cool for Ryan to see you and you to see him. And Rufus will be there too. You guys have a great week. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow at Church Online.